So, from his stand. This is Robin. This is Robin from CJ Optic. Hello. And um, I, again, I'm, I'm, I've just collared Robin, and he's very, very kindly let me um, let me uh, talk to him about Gorilla. CJ Optic uh, scope. And I've got a little bit of a conflict of interest here because I have got a CJ Optic in in, in a in another practice, um, but I only work there one day a week. But I, I've I've always kind of had my eye on the the big daddy because I've I've got the I've got the the, the, the bog standard in. So maybe not, what's it? Is it well, the basic than the advanced. Basic, so the, advanced yeah. the basic you can adapt actually to make it advanced, which is the beauty of a right. uh, scope. So is it like a modular system? Would you say the the, the microscope or? Uh, basically, you can adapt the basic with a vario and a camera, and turn it into an advanced. But there's a, there's a few other features that you don't get with the be, with the basic. They're making it advanced. But you know what? The, the basic that I um, that I use in practice um, actually uh, works really, really well. I'm 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 really happy with it. Does it have the Vario focus on it? Do you know what? Is it, is it I don't really know what? Lens? I just I just kind of switch it on and, and use it, and it, I know I like the ball joints in it. But if you could explain to me what the Vario, of course, yeah. So um, you can choose different standard of range with the Vario. So you start. In the, in the olden days, you had an objective of about 250 millimeters, which meant that anywhere in that range, if it was a three-step, four-step, or five-step uh, microscope, as long as you're in that range, you can have it in focus. And they used to have a little handlebar on it to, to change it. I'm thinking of the old globals, yeah. which is essentially the modern-day Vario Focus. So fast forward to the Vario Focus on, in modern-day microscopes. Uh, ours goes up to 500 mil so as a standard now, actually. You, if you prefer a, a lower, well, I do, do you know what I am. Um, I'm glad you're talking about this because I have a I have a slight problem with with is it what's it called depth of field or what's the yeah depth of field yeah. So when I'm when I'm doing a lot of content, yeah, I um, I obviously want it to uh, go really really close, and but sometimes I like to bring it back, and I know with the scope I've got at the moment, it's it I bring it back, but it's still like a li not not far enough, and I think what I noticed with um, with, I, I do root canal mainly, but I do general dentistry, is sometimes you need that sort of uh, further working feel to see the rest of the teeth and things oh, yeah. like that. So I, th I would say 500 is a quite a, a wide range, isn't it? Oh, it's huge. Well, it, 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 I mean, it's great because it gives you the ability to, to work in a bigger distance um, and anywhere in that far step magnification. Uh, so you will, you'll, if you had a go on this now, you'd see one, well, I'd be able to, you'd be able to see it first time. But it, it gives you the ability to keep the microscope in place, yeah. which is the beauty of the, of the Vario. So you can be in a fixed position in any magnification and use the Vario. And you, you're there happy days, just staying in one position, doing your thing, not doing this all the time. And what a lot of people don't know is when it's I- funny, It's funny you should say do, doing this a lot of the time, because- um, Are you doing that a lot of the time? I'm doing that a lot of the time. And, I, and also what I feel like I'm doing is, um, it is, the, 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 the focus is, is it's easy for me to go up and down, but then I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, it's a bit of a pain in the backside. You know what you should do if you, you you'll, if you don't have a Vario on it. So go, go into the highest magnification first on your scope and get that in focus. And then essentially, as you go through the mags, you'll be in focus every time. So you won't have to move the scope up and down. Whereas if you, if you started in the lower mags or any of the middle mags, is it a five step or is it? Oh. Uh, I think it's a five star. Yeah, yeah maybe. It's, it's you know what? It's got it's got one. It's got one. The number one. Um, it's got the number one a few times. Okay, so, so, so it doesn't. The, the, I don't know. Is it zero point? Uh, yeah, not point four. It's like that. Yeah. Zero point four. Zero point six three. All right. So around four. Round eight. Round twelve. So you are you around that mag most of the time? Um, no, no. I'm using. I, I think I'm using one point six a lot. Less. So you're around sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So if you went straight to the highest mag now, and we just got that in focus by doing the old-fashioned way. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then as you hop through the mags, you should be in focus every time. But if you weren't, and if you just went straight to your, uh, straight to 16. I think, um, when just I, use the value. Because I, I know that's how you should um, properly focus uh, a microscope, where is you put it on the highest magnification, you get your, um, you get get it in focus, and then when you bring it back, it should be, it should always stay in focus. It will be in focus, 100% be in focus. My mic should not do that. Have you, have you done that before? Have you tried that? Or? Uh, many times. And at first, I thought, I thought it was, I was doing it wrong, but I, I think that's just a, uh, that's just like a, a downside of my microscope. 
That's, that's funny you say that, mate, because all the old mic scopes that we've ever, even the old Globals that's 20 years old, uh, whenever I'm showing anyone how to use it and they're struggling with magnification, because the highest mic first and then... So I, I, think if, I think if people, I think if people are thinking about buying a CJ Optic, I would say that's a huge selling point. But, it, but to you, that might sound like it's blaggingly obvious. Well, it, I mean, that's, it's it, a pain. Yeah, it, it turns, well, this is what we always say, one of the classic lines, it turns an endo bit of kit into a general bit of kit. So you don't have to, you don't have to just be, you don't end it on to, to use a microscope anymore because um, there's so many things that make it. Should we have functional. a Yeah, of course we can. So from the top, uh, we've got something here called the monoglobe. And if we just loosen that tensioner, yeah. you can see that we've got a 360 access. And if we, if we tighten the tensioner just enough. Just a little bit of punchy, yeah, a bit of movement. It won't, wherever you want to go, it will stay. But if we wanted to stay in a fixed position, then just tighten it up. We've got 180 degree inclinable binocular as a, as a standard now on most modern microscopes. And then we can also twist left and right. Yeah. So if we were at an angle, we could be still in a fixed position here with a binocular. Yeah. I think that's another function that people who have not got a microscope don't realize how, how useful that is. Is that kind of tilted and then keeping you, and um, cause it, I, I don't know, you know, my, my back is murders me almost all the time. And uh, having that kind of ability to keep him back nice and straight. Absolutely. What's well, the whole the whole idea behind name is deflection. So it's it's a flexible a flexible extension of the, of your of yourself, you know. Um, so it's it's supposed to be as easy to use as possible to make your your life a hell of a lot easier. And having that functionality, um, and if people aren't aware of it, um, then I hope you can shout about it now because this is this is this is the beauty of the scope. Um, and once you're in position, I mean, we say get get the patient in in a, in a in the position you need the patient to be in. Get yourself, ideally, with a uh, some back support and arm support using a microscope. Um, and then go to the microscope and get the microscope in position. Um, and you can always adjust later on. You can always move the patient's chair in there. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so it's got the five step application. Yep. So five step mag. My, my, my eye's drawing to this. I don't yep. know what this is. But and, and now I feel that, so yeah. up and down. It's, it's a bit like a, a joystick that you had on the, uh, <laughs> uh, the old fashioned, like, you know, computers. Yeah. Uh, so it's a bit of a toggle. So you've got the green uh, filter and you've got natural light. Yeah. The white light that we're, uh, you should be on now. And then your orange filter. So uh, what's the difference between a natural light on the, and just the, and the other light? What's the, what? So, um, Sorry to interrupt you there, mate. Um, so the natural light is very similar to composite. So it does exactly the same thing, more or less. It's it's more of a preference thing. Also, if you don't want to stare at stare an orange light for too long or your pictures, uh, it's great to have the natural light on. Um, you can also adjust with the joystick the light level, brightness level here. And we can take pictures from here as well. And then if you want to set it at a particular uh, brightness level, you just push the joystick in yeah. and it will set. So we've set that at 40 on the um, on the natural light. If we go back to the natural light, it'll be at 40 again. Um, I've had the, the idea of being able to uh, store your preferences on things. Again, well, with, with my scope, it's, it is, there's no preference at all. It's kind of, I kind of have to know where I'm, I've been twiddling it with it from my fingers. Yeah. That's the same on the top as well with the, with the, sorry, the top of the binocular. If you were to, again, this would be on most modern microscopes. If you were to wear glasses, which you do, you not, do not wear your glasses. Do you wear your glasses? I don't wear my glasses, no, I, and I have them out. So do you shut the diopter? I do, yeah. Okay, well, there you go, last. And do you know what, when I'm, um, when I'm, when I've not touched the microscope for a while, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look at it and then it, it'll look really weird and bizarre and I'll think, oh, what's going on? And I'll realize that, I haven't, I haven't set this correctly yet. And as soon as you set that to your prescription, it's, it's, it's perfect. Um, take a picture as well if you forget. You know, sometimes it's not always the same with your, your glasses prescription, but um, on to the next part of the scope. So we've got the fluorescence mode with this twin blue. So just this little toggle here. 
and that will detect any Tata or carries. That's and uh, it's a it's a brilliant um, extra tool, which is either going to make your job e a lot easier or going to give you more jobs to do. You know. Oh, this. I don't know. And in every mode, any picture or a video that you take will capture what you see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, on to uh, the Vario, which we were just speaking about before. So it's just underneath here, and this has a distance, as I said, up to 500. So we can be anywhere, really, in this range. And what I'll say is that if I, if I come out here, that's massive. That's huge. I think on my scope, it's probably about, about probably about there. And it's you, just just to get that kind of um, depth of depth, depth of field is, is uh, field of view, really, of field of view, yeah, is really really useful. Um, and then also with the twin, we've got a polarization mode. So little toggle here, flip it onto polarization. Just uh, imagine it like you're putting a pair of good sunglasses on. Um, you know, if you're staring at down the scope all day, same with your um, your nurse. At, uh, so what's wow? That's gone really bright, isn't it? So what does that do exactly? It's it's it's, it's like putting a, a pair of polarized sunglasses on. It, it just takes the um, I don't the glare know. away. I just, I just feel like I'm so hard. Again, if you if you look down this when we do a little demo yourself, when you look down and then put the polarization mode, it's it's just it goes. It's like a shadow's coming over just to give you but a, a bit of a break. Is there a difference in in, um, in brightness? Oh yeah, that's what I mean. It will it will um, it will I, lock I, down I just, the brightness I levels. Just, I, I look at that now, and that is so. We're, we're, that's an insane amount of brightness. We're, we're 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 the brightest now. If we were to go on to the twin white, you would get another boost. So this is the twin blue, which doesn't have that function, but the twin white does. Should we have a look? At yeah, it? let's go and have a look at the twin white. Isn't it? So this is the twin white. Yep. Um, What's this difference about the? Uh, well. The only um, difference is you're choosing twin blue or twin white. Yeah. Uh, and the rest of the microscope is exactly the same. Uh, this has got an old vario on. So what was mentioned to you before, uh, you can choose your varios, but as a standard now. So this, is just got, this is just got 350. A 350, yeah. But as a standard now, unless someone specifies they don't want it, the 500 distance, we send it with a 500 mil. Um, so at the moment we're at 51 so let's get that right up to its brightest and then i'm going to knock on the did you see that i'll turn it again i just feel like that does the, the, the camera doesn't do it justice probably doesn't mate uh, absolutely so i'll turn it on again one sec But why? Like, you, well, like well, um, uh, you know, if, if if people are doing surgery and things, um, it, this this amount of brightness is is just absolutely. Um, Sorry, that's not even. Um, there we go. This brightness is a must. Or you're removing instruments right down canals, or you're looking right down canals. Oh, it gives you the extra boost. Really, really, really bright. It gives you that extra boost that you didn't think you needed until you. Um, so you got well, it, you know. I'm sorry, just a bit confused though. Um, what's the difference between the blue and the, and the white? <clears throat> so it's it's a, it's it's the same microscope. Everything's the same about it on both scopes. Yeah. You're just choosing fluorescence, or you're choosing a boost of white light. Right, That's I it. understand. So yeah. if you're doing loads of general and a mix of endo, and you want the top model, so you're doing general, you're doing a bit of everything. I'd say go blue, because right. the blue well, gives I'd you probably go for the extra brightness, you know. When well, you do general those though, I'd, I'm, I'm, that's a handy tool. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you're doing just endo and just smashing endo all day long, then go for the white. Because you're never going to use, when would you, would you use the fluorescence on a, on a root this canal? The, what I'm worried about is that I, um, I would have the fluorescence and not use it and then regret the not getting the, getting the brightness. So that's what people have done in the past, you know. But they, they do loads of endo, but sometimes they do some general and some resto. Um, I don't use carry detection dye, and, and, and I suppose you should be using it. And um, But I, I would say, in the main, I am doing general, but it's, it's mainly root canal, I would say. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's a tough decision, but um, like I said, I was doing um, I was doing an apex, uh, some April mic surgery on Tuesday, and I, my, my, I felt like the, my scope wasn't bright enough. It just Trouble. wasn't bright enough. And I look at this now, and I just think that is somewhere else. 
Oh, that's not, there we go, that's this bright. That is crazy. So even looking at that then, we're, you know, that was Honestly, the... I, I, do you know what? I think you'd struggle to um, to look at that for long enough. I know. Too yeah. long. And can you can you bring down the... You can. This sat to so the fires a bit. Oh, sorry, yeah, we just want to adjust it here. So, um, there you go. Yeah. Wow. There we go, sorry. Yeah. Look at that, that is absolutely insane. If it's just on normal white mode, you can do, you can adjust the spot. Yeah. If we go into boost of white, there you go. You can change the boost, that's the boost white there. So that's the, yeah, yeah. that's the original LED, that's the boost. You see the difference? As I'm not sure if you'll pick it completely up no, on the camera, but. We can see. That's brilliant. And then and also, sorry to interrupt you, Sam. If if that boost of what, if it was too much to look at, you would have it on that mode there. You see, we see where we've got the spots. Yeah. So you wouldn't be looking at it here. Yeah, your, yeah, your, yeah. your your nurse wouldn't be looking at it uh, if it was too much. Just adjust the spot. You wouldn't want it like that anyway. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Only if you were in the, wanted to see two or three T, you know. Yeah, yeah. But if you're, you're doing root canal, you you want the spot really uh, condensed on one or two yeah, T. Yeah. So. Could we have a very, 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 very quick look at this this way? Yep, yeah, of course, yeah. Because I wonder if people who are, um, I wonder if people who are not in my position, they're, they're after a, they're after a good starter scope. Well, it's our most popular scope still. Which I, which I, you know, I I use this in another practice, and it's it's really nice, really nice to use. So, like I was saying to you before, you, you've got the basic or the advanced. Do you think has it got the camera? Yes, but you know what? For some reason, I just don't use it. I think I, um, I, don't, I don't know why I don't use it, but if we have a look at the, see, that's a really, really good quality. We in focus, buddy, yeah. Let me just check the lights. Uh, so, you, if, if it were, so you've got the advanced. Um, this has got the Vario. This is a basic that we've adapted with a. Oh, is it an advanced? No, it is in advance, sorry, yeah. So this is in advance as it is, but you can have the basic, not have the camera, and just have a Vario on. But you wouldn't be getting um, that foot feature with the spots. You just have the dimmer. and Which is a, it's a good feature. But you, not everyone uses it. Wouldn't... Exactly, it's not a deal breaker. And this is what I say to people on, uh, on demos. The other thing is this camera is taking its power from the microscope. Yeah. So conveniently taking it from the microscope here. If you were to get the basic and add a camera on straight away or a future date, you would either have to have batteries that you charge up, yeah, to have a t two or three on the go, or you can buy a battery pack that well, we could plug it for I've you. That's what I've got on mine, and it's just it's just wires on from wires. You charging batteries? Oh, oh right, okay. No, it's, yeah, it's got it's got like a battery you plug into the wall. Okay. Yeah. So the, here's the thing: that's a couple of grand having that feature and that feature. If I, you're having I, the value I'm, again. I'm obviously going to say this, yeah. but I would say if you get Mosco, just get the camera. Well, I, well, yeah, I would as well. I mean, the amount, the amount of times I've, um, I, I mean, I've got, I've got like a ring light and a Sony and all that and bits. The amount of times I've got a patient in the chair, do you want a quick look at like a cracked tooth? I just pull the scope over. But do you go to this? Do you go to the image here or do you go to the... No, I go, um, yeah, with mine, it's a, it's a, it's a press. Is there, is there a functionality to... Say, have you got to press the button on the so back of the camera? We give you, we, we, we supply a remote control. What? So, really? so about that big. Have you, Ew, yeah. yeah, there's a sensor here and you just press the button from here. There is a model which is called the Advanced SU, which has got that there. So you can get the Advanced with this convenient documentation, taking pictures and videos right in front of your nose, or you have a remote control. How does that connect to the camera? Um, there is, um, it's it's Bluetooth, mate. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, no, infrared, infrared. Well, it's infrared. Um, it's infrared with a remote. Yeah. Sorry, it's not Bluetooth. I think it's infrared, mate. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. But yeah, th this is the most popular because it has the camera and the Vario. The main two things that everyone. What's really the that? What's the Vario on this one? So this is the new Vario. This is up to five hundred, and that's how the new Vario looks now. That was the old Vario. I'd say that's something what I like, like yeah. when I got. Yeah. So a little dial there. I'm uh, absolutely blown away by 500, you know, honestly. Oh, it's brilliant, mate. It is good. You'll never not be in focus. Well, Robin, 
Thanks, man. Don't worry, mate.